Welcome to Thai Tampa Bay's My Story series. We are delighted to have you here. This is, I believe, the third one in 2014. And uh, today, before we go to our featured uh, speaker, we have a few uh, announcements to make. I will, uh, uh, firstly, I want to welcome you all officially to, to be, uh, to, to, to be a part of uh, our uh, August gathering here. And uh, I want to invite President of Thai Tampa Bay, Ashok Kartham, to kick off the session. And then I'll come back. <clears throat> Good evening, everyone. Uh, welcome to today's Thai event. We are very excited to have successful, very successful and a serial entrepreneur, Mark Swanson, with us to share his story. And as we, before we get to this, uh, that too, I kind of want to share a couple of exciting news from Thai. If you attended last uh, couple of events, uh, you know that Thai has uh, established a, an angel fund. Today I want to share with you that we have actually made our first investment through the angel fund. We have just completed the round with a company called Flex Receipts. And uh, we have four investors that invested in that, including myself and Prashant, who couldn't be here today. And then we also have Rajan Naik, Dr. Rajan Naik, as well as uh, Seema Jain, our treasurer. They made an investment in Flex Receipts. Okay? And again, we talking about the investment too. Again, we are very excited to have uh, Linda Olson here today from Tampa Bay Wave. And she shared about exciting things that are happening, which as a member of uh, Wave 2, I realize all the progress that Wave is making. We think there are very good startups there. And hopefully, Thai angels or through other farms get to uh, involve with uh, Wave startups. And also, I wanted to share that Wave is planning an exciting event called Startup Search uh, that's scheduled for March 28th. Okay. If you get a chance, all of you should attend it. I think there is an event in the evening at uh, uh, Tampa Bay Times Forum. And again, if you have any questions or visit at Tampa Bay Wave or talk to Linda. Anyway, okay. uh, and also, uh, talking about the ecosystem, we're glad that uh, Stephanie Ashley from EDC is here today. And again, we want to thank EDC for their support to tie. And uh, we, are, we are excited that you know, they have accepted some of our funding requests not only for events like this, but also how we can get the Angel Forum going and uh, how that can help, obviously, multiply our investment uh, in, in the area, in the Tampa Bay area. And also, we have, like a, again, uh, it's very exciting. Every time I kind of hear about various things that are happening, like I think we also have Mitch Neff. Um, where is he? He's in the back anyway. There is a, uh, he, he's the, I think, uh, for the startup bus, which you might have heard. And he has some exciting news about doing it not only here in North America, even doing it in India. So again, uh, talk to him about some of uh, those events. And we also, I think, very excited. Other companies are getting involved in encouraging innovation and acceleration in the area. Again, uh, I wanted to actually mention a little bit too, Diane and uh, uh, Kathy from, uh, Florida Blue Innovation. Oh, where did I? Okay, yeah, sorry. Again, talk to them. Again, it's very exciting with the health box. Uh, you, some of you might have heard of it. So there is, I think, some uh, exciting news, and they're planning a startup accelerator in the area. And again, all of you, as we get involved, not only in the technology side, but more from healthcare, I think there are a lot of things that can be done as, uh, to help with the innovation as uh, startups in a way. And also, again, I want to welcome all of you as members. Charter members, we appreciate all of your support and also for coming uh, for today's event. And again, without uh, taking too much of your time, we are all here to hear the uh, successful story and how we can all learn from it. With that, I want to hand it back to Ramesh. Thank you very much for coming. Thank you, Ashok. Our first speaker for the day we wanted someone like a pep rally, right? <laughs> so we are delighted to have with us Joe Yazbek. For more than 30 years, Joe Yazbek has successfully helped thousands of individuals and businesses in numerous industries throughout the United States and abroad with his unique system for public speaking, effective presentation, media communication, 
and leadership development. Joe is the founder and president and the senior coach of Tampa Bay-based Prestige Leadership Advisors, where he serves leaders and professionals in industries including technology, law, healthcare, finance, defense, public service engineering, and entertainment media through his leadership, executive, and corporate training programs, as well as his No Fear Speaking system at nofearspeaking.com. A master speaker himself, Joe has delivered over 3,700 presentations, workshops, lectures, seminars, and keynote addresses worldwide. He told me he'll critique my presentation today, so <laughs> I'm on the spot. Joe also serves the US military on the board of directors of the successful veterans nonprofit organization supporting America's finest. He also serves as mentor for the University of South Florida's Research Foundation and the Tampa Bay Technology Incubator. Joe told me in a conversation that he offers free services to war veterans in our country, especially those who have come back from Afghanistan. Joe, thank you for your service and thank you for being here with us. May I present Joe Yazbek. Thank you, Ramesh. Good evening. How are you? You all get enough to eat? <laughs> all settled in? Ready for a, a fantastic interview? Diane and Mark, you're going to give us a great conversation, aren't you? <laughs> all right. I've been asked to set the table here before our main event happens, and I want to talk to you a little bit about us. Us. Members. We are a group. And as members, we have rights. We have rights to take initiative. That is our right. And normally, in America, as a citizen, we have rights to take initiative. And as a group, as members, every single one of us are leaders. And so dealing with this every day and in my work and developing leaders, I have a mission statement on my wall in my office and I make sure everyone sees it when they walk in. It says this, to advise and develop ethical, competent, and productive leaders who become powerful communicators improving our world. And of course, I don't consider taking on a client unless those last three words are in their world, improving our world. But this is what we do as leaders. You cannot talk about leadership unless you talk about this other word, and this other word is inspiration. I want you to take a look right now, this week, and don't take this for granted because I know you've done it, you might be searching, but you've done it. Most people sort of nonchalantly throw it off as something, oh well, you know, I... How, who have you inspired this week? Who have you inspired this week? Who did you influence in a positive way? Take a look at that. And take a look and sense the feeling you felt when you did it. Because there's a definition of leadership that does not include followers. Our roles as leaders are to inspire others to take positive action. And if others are taking positive action, they're leaders, not followers. You see this. So, I know I'm preaching to the choir, <laughs> but these are things sometimes we have to remind ourselves. The aspect of inspiration and the idea of moving people who come across our plate every day is important not to take for granted. One of our very early presidents, James Madison, and I'll quote, he said this about money. He said, the circulation of confidence is better than the circulation of money. Because after all, what is money but the idea backed by confidence? Isn't that what money is? If we have confidence in the dollar, what happens to the dollar? If we lose confidence, what happens to the dollar? If I have confidence someone can get that job done and they're creating that confidence, there's money there. So in a way, even if it's one person 
Just because you're not in front of an army of people or you're not on television talking to a million or on radio talking to a few hundred thousand, you're inspiring someone to take positive action. That's our role. And I would like to just mirror the core values and the mission statement of the Tampa Thai group because that is what we do as entrepreneurs. You hear the word a lot, serial entrepreneur. What does that mean? That means I love being a citizen of this country, and I always go back to Jeffersonian principles, and I always think about this. An entrepreneur is someone interested in free enterprise, someone interested in individual liberty, someone interested in self-government, you see? Because that's why we're in business, so we can do the same for others. That's what I wanted to say today. And I'm just gonna leave you with this last quote, okay? This is a quote by Peter Drucker, and any of you know Peter Drucker, he's the guru, he's a managing, management business guru. He's been around a long time. He says about leadership, leadership is not magnetic personality. That can just as well be a glib tongue. It is not making friends and influencing people. That is flattery. Leadership is lifting a person's vision to higher sights. The raising of a person's performance to a higher standard. The building of a personality beyond its normal limitations. And I'm proud to say that's exactly what we're going to get tonight. Thank you.